on Hulu, I watched her 1996 because, damn, it's not nearly as bad as people will tell you it is. Um, had some problems recording this a minute ago, so I'm going to go ahead and give my star right now. I'm giving this two out of four stars. If it gets cut off, I'll talk about it more in the description. So, um, starring Shaq, this is his first movie in a starring role. Got the big Shaq above the poster, too. He has some charisma. I know not the most natural to li of uh, line delivery, but I can kind of see why someone would take a chance on putting this big, recognizable sports figure in a movie, especially when he can be kind of funny and stuff on and off the court. And I can kind of see why someone would give him another chance, even though this kind of bombed. The effects in this are actually worth talking about. There's a good deal of CGI in a fairly low-budget movie that is arguably better than today's CGI. There's so much CGI in this that I th well, I wouldn't say so much, but what is here is nuanced. It looks like somebody cared about it. They wanted to get it right. I mean, I looked at some of the stuff for Peely just going, shit, that's like way better than J Jumanji. The Jumanji was just a year earlier, and you think that would be the bigger movie and everything. But this, just, this looks pretty damn advanced at times. Nowadays, they don't give a shit. Type in waterfall, you know, and we got where waterfall. Well, Shaq is a rapping genie. He's not the best concept. I guess he was in a lamp that some building was getting torn down and he fell into a boom box. And now that gave him the rap powers. I don't know. This kid who has like paralysis of the face, he's always going as he looks up at adults. I guess he came across the boombox, he popped it, Shaq said. I had to look that up with the captions on. And now he's his for three wishes. Kid tries to get a Jaguar XKE black one. Shaq can't do the thing, so he doesn't believe he's a genie. But eventually he does believe him because he grants him a whole lot of candy. And the kid's using up these wishes. Well, there's this fireman who's doing his mom. And he wants uh, to be like the new dad for the kid, but the kid doesn't accept him. You know, because he's got those illusions of grandeur about how amazing his birth dad is, right? So he tracks him down, finds out he's some kind of record producer slash mafia slash nightclub guy, and uh, meets him. The guy seems to be fairly warm to him, but then uh, starts wigging out on him when he gets pressured by his boss, the club owner. I guess Spinderella, the DJ from Salt and Pepper, showed up. And there's some music video, but they're pirating it, even though it's at their own place. I don't understand. And they say it's gonna be worth a million bucks. No, it's not. That's Spinnerella without salt and pepper. What, what the hell? Well, at the nightclub, the genie's in tow, and he gets uh, discovered. You know, he's spitting out some rhymes, and everybody's impressed, and he has a boombox with pyro. Everybody likes that. So now he's gonna be a big thing. So he's kind of leaving the kid behind. And uh, the kid wants to use his wish to get this tape back that his hoodlum buddies stole. One of them being Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite, who he won't recognize. And Shaq is trying to be a good genie. He doesn't want to waste his wish. Takes him to the place so they can make a copy of the tape. And he's like, no, the tape's gone. I need the real tape. Well, here it is. Here's your wish. Wish number two, down. Forget the, the black Jaguar he didn't get him earlier. That would have been three wishes. So, uh, he tries to get this to his dad. People are getting roughed up, maybe even murdered by the mafia dude. Like, ah, what the hell? You know, luckily these guys' goons are kind of incompetent. They're fighting the dad, fighting the kid. Shaq gets wind of this. Does some Shaq foo on him. The fighting in this is not so bad. Like, Shaq has some moves that he didn't have when I saw him fight Oscar De La Hoya and granted a sparring match that was pathetic. Uh, but yeah, he's got some good kicks and things. You know, when he was thinner and younger, I guess. So, uh, yeah, the place is getting, catching fire because Shaq knocked somebody into some shit that got electrical. Uh, the kid falls down some uh, elevator shaft, doesn't die, but gets knocked out. Fireman New Dad comes by, rescues the kid, and uh, he's like, hey, I rescued you, I guess I'm your new dad. Well, the kid had this dream, kind of 
circumstance where he wanted his dad to get a second chance that'd be his last wish and you got this big glorious send-off for Shaq the genie well new dad comes walking by the burning building and he's like hey yeah I made it out okay this guy showed up he just said you guys second chance so now I'm gonna be a good dad fireman's like oh I'm already the new dad okay we'll co-dad that's okay with you yeah okay sure and then we see Shaq walking off with this manager chick he met I think her name was Asian Moon and she's talking about how he's gonna need a real job. I, I, so what, the, the club burned down so now you can't be this rapper genie? How are you not a genie? I thought the kid used his three wishes, now you go back into the, the boom box, lamp, what have you, and now you got a new master. Then again, I don't know the goddamn rules about this shit and I've never heard the one about the genie transferring through the boom box. Oh, but I gotta say that as a kid film, I can see how this can appeal to kids. It's not the dumbest thing. Uh, some of the gags, I mean, some of the little things Shaq says are kind of high level, big vocabulary shit. I mean, I, I, with Shaq's accent, if we wanna call it accent, let's just say hard to understand voice at times. You know, I had to kind of caption this stuff. But yeah, I mean, there's, there's something going on here. There is a plot. The effects are better than average at its time. It's, it's not terrible as people would make it out to be. I give Kazam two out of four stars. Which I already told you guys, but you know, like I said, this cut off earlier and so there you go.